Today I wanted to talk about a few things that might go wrong in your backtesting process. From time to time you will find that the backtest doesn't create the results that you might have been expected. There are countless reasons for that and in this video I wanted to go through a few very common reasons. Here is a typical mail from a customer who wants to say that the forex trading framework doesn't work as shown in the video. In this case we would have made $425. We have traded the forex trading framework and if you click on the inputs tab here you will find a user adjustable variable for the trading risk. The default setting is 1. I will now change that to 10. Start another test and this time we should see very different results. It will take a few more seconds until our test is finished. We are now in June. And now our test is finished. And with just one setting we changed the result to $7720 profit. So if you see the inputs tab make sure that you adjust the values. Another common problem would be an account size that is too low. Let's try 30 US dollars. Now I start the test and it is finished immediately. We made a loss that was bigger than the account size. Let's change it to $300. This time we lost $259 and we have grounded the account within 19 days. Let's try 3000 US dollars. It goes up first. This looks very promising. And this time we turned a $3,000 account into a $7,720 profit. But it was pure luck. This account size is far too small. I prefer $100,000 US dollar upwards. Most of the time I trade $300,000 now. Something else that might influence your results is if you trade every tick, open, high, low and close prices or open prices only. Let's start this test. And we made $7720 again. But it depends on the strategy you use. You might get very different results if you trade open prices only. Usually I would suggest to trade open, high, low and close prices. Let's create a position size that can't be traded to cause an error. And this time the graph is flat and we see lots of errors here in our journal tab saying that we have tried to trade an invalid volume. If you see those kinds of errors in your journal, just google for MQL5 error codes and you will find the site with codes of errors and warnings on mql5.com. Just click on the return codes and you will find a long list of things that might go wrong. Depending if your broker supports everything you do. A common error is invalid stops. For example if your trailing stop or your stop loss is too close. We have caused the invalid volume error here. So let's go back to the correct version, recompile the code, start a new test and now it works again. Ok, now you have seen a few very common errors that you might want to avoid for your own backtesting and if you see something that doesn't work out as expected, please make sure to click on the journal tab and look for the cause. Let's Set the visualization option here for the next test. It's always a good idea to spend some time to watch your trading system because that's when you really see if it works as you wanted it to work. You can also undock the lower part to see the graph here. It's always a good idea to spend some time to check out if your trading system works as designed. And now you know how you can find the most common errors in your backtesting. 